In this movie, we're going to cover the solution to the report exercise 1. From Crystal Reports, go ahead and create a new report. We're going to create a new connection, and from here you could choose Direct Access or ODBC. From here you choose your data source and click Finish. From here we chose the tables we needed. In this case, Customer, Office, Product, and the Revenue Transaction table. And click Next. From here, we clear the links. As we've explained before, Crystal does have an auto-linking function, but only works if the field names to link on are identical throughout all of its tables and its relationships. Out in real life, that's not always the case. Next, we pick our kind of main table. It's important to have a table from which you're pulling your main set of data. This is usually the transactional table or the table that holds the revenue, depending on the purpose of your report. I put that one first and then just align the rest as I see fit. These supplementary tables don't have to go in a specific order. The next piece here is very simple. We're going to join revenue transaction client number to the customer client num field. To join, if you recall, we click and hold down the mouse on the field we want, such as this case, prod number, and we join it to the table of the corresponding field, in this case, product prod number. Then we take site, hold down the mouse, drag it to office num from the office table, and release. And that's the joins as we've defined them in the exercise. Let's go ahead and click next. Here we choose the fields we need to display and use. In this case, from the customer table, let's go ahead and choose client. From the office table, Let's go ahead and choose Division. From the Product table, we need both Group and Description. From the Revenue Transaction table, we need Revenue Amount and we need Revenue Date. Then we hit Next. Next is our Group By. Now, according to the exercise, we need Revenue by Client, by Product Group, and Product Description. So this is fairly straightforward. We choose Client, we choose Product Group, and we choose the Product Description, and hit Next. This is where Crystal automatically finds a field it can summarize and inserts into the report for us. In this case, this works, so we're going to leave it. Go ahead and click Next. We're going to skip this section, as well as skip this section. Next, we arrive at the Filter fields. From here, we needed to choose Division, so we pull over Division. And instead of is any value, we say is one of. In this case, we use the drop down box to define east and the drop down box to define west. The last filter required, we just needed the years 2005 and 2006. So we go ahead and pull that over, highlight the field so we can start modifying it. And in this case, we're going to choose something a little bit different. Kind of left this on your own to figure out, but it's fairly obvious once you think about it. I'm going to use the isBetween function. isBetween works great with dates. In this case, it's 1 slash 1 slash 2005 at 12 a.m. all the way to 12 slash 31 slash 2006 at 11 59 59 p.m. This is a good little tip for you when you're working with dates and time stamps. If I had just put 12 31 2006 there, I would have essentially skipped that entire day for any transactions happening past 12 a.m. on the 31st would be excluded from the data pull. Something to keep in mind. From here, I'm going to go ahead and finish. And voila! I have a basic report set up by Crystal's Report Wizard. I have my client, my product group, and my product description field. From here, I'm going to go to my design view and I'm going to suppress my group header 2 and my group Header 3. I'm also going to suppress the details and preview. Now this gives me my client and then its product group and the specific product pertaining to said group. From here I need to do something a little bit different. I'm going to right click on my group header 1, go to my section expert, choose color, and give it some color. This helps break up the groups as you go along. One of the last things that we needed to do was highlight those clients less than $500,000. Or it could be any amount, really. It's 
up to what you're looking for. In this case, we're going to find the A hearts summary, which is this one here. It's in my group footer one field, also GF1. Right click on that field, go to my highlighting expert, and I'm going to click on new condition. When this field is equal to, no, when this field is less than or equal to, I put 500,000 and I'm going to choose the background color to be red and press OK. Now as you can see as I scroll down all those clients with less than $500,000 are highlighted in red. This could mean that I need to check these out or figure something out why. could also mean I need to adjust my condition. As of course you go down you'll find clients that aren't highlighted because they've met the condition. The Plaza Gaijin, for example. As for the rest of the format, it's really in the eye of the beholder. I leave that to you. I can't tell you what's wrong or right any more than I can tell you that red is a better color than blue. It's going to depend on what you're going to use this for and how you want to present it and how you want the eye and the audience, the receivers of the report, to view it. Hopefully this exercise has helped you build a nice base in how to create simple basic reports and kind of open the door to the potential possibilities for you to test certain functionality out and see if it works for you.